I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the overall energy. We'll see what's coming up. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Gemini, the overall energy, we got the five of wands and it's with the six of cups. Now, the five of wands, it can be about competition. It could be work or career related. And for some of you, it's family or maybe even romance. It can refer to romantic rivals. It can refer to some type of competitive situation. Yeah, five of wands, it usually means some type of competition. But when you get this card, you have to make sure that you're not afraid of competing and know that you have something to offer and you can be successful. Yeah, also the need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever at this time. So when you get the five of wands, you got to make sure you hold your head up high and have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. For some of you, you could be thinking of making a career change. Something is really challenging going on with a lot of you Geminis around now or coming up with the five of wands showing up here. Now, because it's, it's with the Six of Cups, the card that's below the word energy, that's overall energy, it's telling me that there's somebody that's that you feel really comfortable with. This person could be a friend, could be a family member, maybe a co-worker, just someone that you feel like you've known them for a long time. Even if you just met this person, and you, you probably tell this person all your struggles, all your problems. You share with them a lot of how you're feeling and thinking they know the struggle that you're going through. Something is really challenging for you right now, for a lot of you Geminis now, or it will be coming up with the Five of Wands here. You're going to feel like you have to fight just to stay on top of things. Yeah, some some type of challenging situation. That's what I'm getting. But you got someone here that's always there for you. Yeah. You see, it's a really cute card, the Six of Cups. This person is, one person is on their knees, bringing you flowers just to make you feel better because they know that you're going through something that's really challenging or competitive and you're fighting just to stay on top of things and they just want to make you feel better somebody is on your side which is a good thing very good thing and you just feel comfortable with this person yeah you could tell this person anything so you got some type of support here which is good Now, because this is a cup, the Six of Cups, some of you are dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up. So we got the Magician, and it's with a Fool. So, yeah, with this kind of support of a good friend or some type of great support system you got here maybe maybe it's a support system um the six of cups maybe it's not a person but for a lot of you it is someone that's just always there with this type of energy coming up it's going to make you it's going to make you be able to manifest yeah the magician is about manifesting um, it's about having manifestation powers it's about creating new beginnings and having a lot of great expectations yeah so you'll be going for for it 
whatever it is that you need to do to come out on top of this competitive situation. And it looks like um, you could be creating some new beginnings. Because we got two new beginning cards. The Magician and the Fool card. The Fool card is about new beginnings and it's just about taking a leap of faith. Because you realize it could be time for some new beginnings. So, like I said, something is telling me this person who is always by your side. They're helping you to come out of this struggle or come out of this competitive situation and manifest new beginnings and create fresh new starts. Yeah, you actually need this support. I don't know who this person is, but it's, it's, it's picking you up. Because the Five of Wands, it can be really challenging. And to, to go through this challenge alone, a lot of people wouldn't make it. But you've got somebody here that's, that's really good for you. And it's making you want to manifest some great new beginnings and You've got great expectations now, and this challenging situation or competitive situation, it doesn't seem to be so competitive anymore. You're holding your head up high because you realize that you've got power and you've got someone on your side that's giving you the motivation and inspiration that a lot of people get when they have someone that understands them and listens and is patient and when they have someone that they can talk to. So that's what's coming up. Oh, but let's see what the challenge is. We got the Eight of Cups and it's with the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands, the card that's below the word challenge, it can be about some communication coming in. Or maybe someone trying to reach out to you or you to them. I'm getting that you could be trying to reach out to you, to this person that's very helpful to you. Or maybe they're trying to reach out to you. Because the ones, they're, they're in the air. Some communication is trying to happen here. I'm getting that your person, they, they, Eight of Cups is here. That's an indication that they're, they're thinking about walking away. Eight of Cups is walking away, leaving it behind. Abandonment. Your person could be walking away or wanting to walk away from this connection from you. They could feel abandoned by you. You probably haven't heard back from this person. The wands are still up in the air. Or they reached out to you and they haven't heard back from you. So they're starting to feel some kind of way. Like maybe you walked away from the connection. Or they could be thinking about walking away from you. Yeah, Eight of Cups is moving on, walking away. It has something to do with this whole situation. Yeah, but let's see what the outcome is. Let's see if we can get some more clarity. So the outcome, Seven of Cups, ends with the Five of Swords. Seven of Cups can be about choices. It can be about disorganization, having too much going on. Yeah, if you look at that picture, Seven of Cups, the card above the word outcome, there's a lot going on in those cups. So, your person that was very supportive of you through your challenging times 
And this person always gives you the attention and the ear that you need when you're going through difficulties. They feel like you don't really put them on on the priority list. Or when they need a hand or when they need um, some attention or when, they, or when they need to talk. They feel like you don't make it a priority, but they do whenever you're going through some difficulties. Yeah, they're always there for you, but when they need a friend, they feel like you're you're not there. You you make busy or you just give them the impression that you don't have time. Yeah, so five of swords occur below the word outcome. That's them walking in the background. And you're there you're there boasting. Being prideful. Because you you you're winning your competitive situations. You're winning your fights and your struggles. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that you had a good friend there for you. And they're in the background um, feeling like they need to walk away from this connection. Because a lot of times you forget about them. Yeah, you make busy when they need a hand or when they need someone to talk to. And this connection makes them feel like it's all about you. So they've got mixed feelings. Five of Swords is about mixed feelings and having some conflicted emotions. Yeah, you're there boasting and being prideful in this Five of Swords, holding your swords because you're winning all your fights and struggles because you got a good friend. But they feel left out by you, Gemini. So, yeah, don't forget the people that help you. Don't forget the people that are there for you. Because you just might need to go back. Yeah, things are turning around for the better for you. And you're, you're able to manifest now and create new beginnings. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that you do got a support system. But when they need you, you... You're probably nowhere to be found. Those wands are just up in the air. They can't find you. That's for some of you, Geminis. Not all of you. So that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation and much more. So Gemini, I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, which will be in another four or five days. Also, don't forget, if you need a love reading, I put some new ones on my homepage. They're up there. Go check those out. Once again, I can never say it enough, Gemini. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.